I want to give you a couple of uh, some. Where's my final? Oh, get some records and just here we go, and see what if they trigger any memories or thoughts. Okay, this is um, it's literally food for thought. <laughs> yeah, hold that up. For me. Yeah, yeah. Well, the first thing I I, I could see on this is pass the peace. See, I can't go any place. It's it's almost like I'm not Maceo if I don't play past the piece. <laughs> you, you got so what I what I've done in my show I, I, I save it for last, and then you know do a little you know those little things. But you gotta 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 do past the piece. So that's that's your signature right now. Well, it's 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 I think it's anybody's that that uh they, that, that that the public attributed you know for James Brown. You gotta do past the piece. Do you have you change Do you change it up much or is it still? I mean, how still. Still, still going. <laughs> no, I don't change it. What we do now is something we've been doing, man, I bet you past 10 years anyway, maybe mm -hmm. even more. It's almost like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I hear you. And which, which, which involves uh, or includes uh, some James Brown stuff, some of my own stuff. I throw in a Ray Charles every now and then. Mm -hmm. and, a, and a couple of ballads. You know, like so the, so I, you know, kind of got to stick with that two percent. Sure, sure, sure. Right. So you know, like a couple of ballads between the funky, thing, right. and that's it, man. That's that's the show. You know, a couple of turns and hits and all of that. And uh, you know, another thing I say sometimes is, uh, as long as that audience does not feel that, you know, you're five or six, uh, seven guys just getting together, just having to be musicians. Somebody, hey man, you know, knock on wood. Yeah, what can you do then? Uh, uh, we just do the nip. Okay, ba ba ba. And then, what else do you know? Oh, let's do it, ba ba. And the audience can feel that, mm -hmm. you know, if you're just getting together, and uh, and they can also feel that, you know, you're a little bit polished, and you got a little bit of something that takes, you know, and they appreciate that. So that's you know, it goes on. Let me, let me, what about this one here? This one, I think, um, I think it was a movie, movie, something. S directors or people would come by and have James to do uh, movie schools or sounds or whatever for movies. And uh, I think I think that's a, that's how he came up with big paper, uh, big payback. That's my that's to me that's yeah. my favorite the payback is. Yeah. I don't know karate, but I know Kareza. There you go. <laughs> and one more. I'm trying to think if I played on this. You know, oh, man. Oh, there it is. I think I did. <laughs> but it's funky, man. This is, all this stuff is funky. Uh, greedy man. Who am I? Greedy man. No, I didn't do Greedy Man. Oh, you didn't Greedy Man? Talk, talk a lot. Oh, no. But You're not on this album? I may not be on this one because I remember, I remember uh, uh, talking loud and saying that with Bobby Bird and saying right. like I was, may have been in service when he did this. I, I, I don't know. Uh, what is he, what is he of, of the, you know, you did so many records with Brown. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular favorite of yours that you soloed on? Uh, Cold Sweat and probably uh, Papa's Got a Brand New Bag. But Fred and I did a thing called Shoot Your Shot. Right. Where we were sort of tra trading um, eights or something. And that, that was, that was kind of exciting. <laughs> and uh, a lot of times we get together, Fred and I get together, and we somehow we always mention Funky Good Time. Right. Yeah, trombone solo on, on Funky Good Time is, is like... <laughs> Yeah, all trombone players got to play that. And he talks about the little flute thing that I did, which which I, um, as a freshman in in school, after football season, saxophone player, the uh, uh, sister band director came in and said, oh, we have too many um, saxophone players. Somebody got to play flute. And you, 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 and you. And uh, I was one of the, I said, but, but sir, excuse me, I, I don't play flute learn and just kept going and so I'm going to sort of protest you know give me the flute I'm saying hold the flute I was at it weeks and weeks and weeks maybe three weeks or maybe two I'm saying and he never looked at me never said anything <laughs> just that's all you want to do that's what you do and then music is great and it's everything and after all I'm thinking 
wow, this is nice. This music is beautiful. And I'm not contributing, so I got to learn something. I can't play saxophone, so maybe I play. And then pretty soon I got a sound. And once I got a sound, I could do a scale. And uh, luckily, somehow, on that, uh, gonna have a funky good time. Uh, hey, I see you got that little horn over there, James. James Brown is saying, can you play that thing? And it's going to go, and it's, Fred likes it for some reason, you know, is that it all fits with the, with that going and have a funky good time. And I told Fred, and the only reason I'm thinking, thinking about this, because we were together three weeks, three weeks ago playing somewhere. But anyway, what's so unique and for me, different about Funky Good Time because that pulse or the or the or the stress was actually only one before uh, George Clinton. Like da 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 da. And before then, when you play what we call a shuffle, ting chi ching chi ching chi ching chi ching da 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 da. It was always dun dun da da ding 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 which is sort of falls on the two and four, one, two, two and three and four and one. But now I got to play. But I, I'm not comfortable yet. But after a while, you, you just start feeling it and feeling it. But here again, something James Brown heard, something within him, and he wanted to bring it out. And not going to stop until he, you know, gets what he's searching for or what he hears. So you hear it first and then try to get people to produce it. You know, one of the things that really strikes me talking to you, you're, you're, you went to college, you're a trained musician. Yeah. One of the people talk, criticism people have of a lot of younger musicians today is that they're not trained and they don't have the same understanding. At least that's what people, about a lot of young music. Do you feel that's fair? Me personally, I don't think you, you gotta, gotta have to have to. See, that, that was another uh, concept of mine too when I was thinking about, you know, the two doors. I said, now, in that room where they have the guys, all, everybody want to want to want to play jazz. And, and now, I'm I'm not saying everybody got to think like this, but this is where I did it. And if you talk about one person, that's to me, that seemed like everybody's gonna sort of play similar or the same. And that was always been a no-no with me. I always wanted to be a little bit different. And 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 I felt, how can I be different? And, and before I got to that particular concept, I was thinking, since my name is Maceo Parker, what about Maceo Parker plays Charlie Parker? Hmm. Yeah, that looks good, sounds good, and boom. All I got to do is just watch it, really, really learn this stuff. I mean, you know, 5, 10 years, 10, 50, and boom, and there it is. But I said, no, I don't know, because there may be somebody over there who's already into Charlie Parker. So that's maybe not a good idea. I got a few of us in there. Then I felt, I can play the funky. I don't know why this funky thing is there, but it's there, man, and I cannot ignore it. And uh, the rest is history. The rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> Change matter. Okay, well, almost, uh, just one more question. You got time for, can you got room for uh, me to stop? I, I would hate to lose it.